We all set then. All right. Uh, good evening, everybody. It's five o'clock, and we'll start the uh, meeting of the Committee of Adjustment for Monday, November 27th. Uh, roll call. Make note of everybody. Lori and Tom are absent. Good. Okay. I'll call the meeting to order. Uh, any disclosure of pecuniary interest? Seeing none. Um, the, the minutes uh, have not been uh, circulated, but those uh, will be ready for the December 11th or thereabouts meeting. Um, tonight we have two applications and uh, the first one, uh, Donna, you wanna read that one? As the application indicates that it won't be heard till 5.05 p.m., we're going to have a, a short delay uh, until such time uh, as we can read it to the public. Okay, uh, just uh, another minute or so here uh, before we get going. If the applicants for um, uh, James uh, Ross for minor variance application A1223 at 130 St. Pierre Street, if you wanna come up to the, to the front there. Oh, is that 19? Okay. Uh, and I'll ask you if you, um, state your name and uh, yeah, turn the button on when you want yep. to speak and shut it Hi off. Hi guys, uh, my name is James Ross. Okay. 
Okay, Donna, you want to read the application? <laughs> application for minor <clears throat> variance A1923, James Ross, 130 St. Pierre Street. The purpose of the application is to obtain relief from subsection 7.1. Point five of zoning bylaw 1746, which establishes a maximum lot coverage of 30%. The applicant is proposing to construct a 223.3 square meter, 2,404 square foot addition to the existing home, which includes an attached garage, covered rear and front porches, and additional living space, resulting in lot coverage of 32%. The subject property is designated residential in the official plan and zoned residential R2 in zoning bylaw 1746. The following correspondence was received. Town engineering has no comments or concerns regarding the requested minor variance. Building department. Owners contractors will be required to meet all requirements of the Ontario <laughs> building code at time of building permit application. No comments from fire services. Essex Region Conservation Authority. IRCA notes that the low lying nature of the roadway may result in excess water over the road during a one 100 year flood event. The municipality must confirm through applicable emergency services, i.e. fire police, that they have the ability to safely access this area during a one 100 year flood event in order to fulfill the municipality's responsibilities under section 3.1.7 of the provincial policy statement 2020. IRCA permit number 525-23 has already been issued for this development. And since the time of publishing of the planning report, Essex Power Lines has provided the following. Customer will need to call for an overhead service relocation as the location of the new garage will be in its way. Thank you. All right, thank you, Don. Um, so does the applicant have any further information that he wishes to share with the committee? thing is the uh, Essex uh, power they were the ones that removed the power lines from the house already I've reached out to them uh, this morning just waiting to hear back for clarity on the relocation okay does the committee have any questions through you Mr. Chair uh, do we have anyone here from neighbors that are speaking I, I don't or... believe we've received, received. hi I'm a neighbor Hello? We have one person that uh, is with us electronically this evening. Which yeah. Are you here for? Uh, for the for this application. I got a notice. For James. I just got a I got a notice in my mail about it. Just could you state your name, please, and your address? Yeah, so my name is Jennifer George. I'm the owner of 12407 Riverside Drive. East. So my backyard would face um, James's property, basically. Chad, is it possible to bring that up on the screen? Okay. Okay. Which address are you at? Yeah, I'm twelve or twelve four zero seven there. That's a better view, actually. Okay. Yeah, so I guess like, my question is just just because I noticed that um, it's a coverage of 32% um, when the max is 30%. So I guess I'm wondering where that other 2% is coming from. I, I mean, I'm not opposed to anything. I just want to be clear about my property line um, as well. So just asking for clarification on that. Chad? 
Is that something you could address? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so the the proposed addition to the existing dwelling um, would result in a 32% lot coverage. So um, the lot coverage is determined by taking the total area of the, of the dwelling and other structures on the property and dividing it by the, the area of the property. Um, if that number comes out to anything 30% or less, it meets the bylaw. In this case, it's 32%, so it's marginally over the maximum permitted in the bylaw. Okay, but that still, um, so property line wise, that still wouldn't encroach on my property line in any way, shape or form. Cause I know I've like, I have a, a fence there and I know um, there's the garage, like the driveway is there. Um, so I guess that's all I'm just, Wondering, where is it? Two percent. God, again, through you, Mr. Chair. Uh, no, the the uh, dwelling would meet the minimum interior side yard requirements of the bylaw, which okay, four feet in this case, and it exceeds that by a couple of feet. Actually, you can see here uh, in this um, diagram, it's a bit difficult to fight. Sorry, did you say the property line is four feet? The, the minimum interior side yard is four feet. Okay. And in this case, it's set back six, six feet, four inches. Okay. You can see it. Yeah, right that's and that's just for uh, the northeast corner of the uh, proposed garage. Edition. Okay. That's, that was like the main thing that I wanted to see. Any further questions? Okay, does... Uh... Sorry, Chad, just then so I understand simply, from my fence then to the garage or to the driveway, um, once it's all done and completed, there would be a six foot distance there. Is that what I understood? Yes, to you, Mr. Chair, um, from your lot... From, line, yeah. Point, this, um, this corner of the new garage, to the lot line, which is the closest point of the new addition, is six feet four inches, uh, and then it goes up to sixteen feet one inch, I believe, at at the uh, northwest corner of the new addition. Okay. So it is six feet. Okay, that was just all I pretty much wanted to know. Okay, uh, the applicant would like to say something. Okay. Good evening. Um, yeah, they, I think the property as close as we're going to be is actually the other neighbors too. From her, from the aerial view, mm -hmm. there's your, like, you're the white fence that, you, yeah. that we side on to, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I mean, we're closer to like 16 feet from your property on that side. The closest okay. spot is your neighbors uh, to the east, I guess it would be. Okay. That's so we're, we're, I mean, we're actually, the house is significantly further away than what the driveway is currently. That gravel uh, is kind of up against your property line. Okay. Um, that's, that's the main question that I have. And can I ask just one more, James? I just never got a chance to chat with you personally, or chat with your dad before. Um, just in terms of like the addition. So the addition will go like previously there was an addition on that house. I remember when I moved in a year ago and it, it um, overlooked my backyard. Privacy wise, is, the, is it going to be a similar structure in nature where it's kind of like higher up in the back? No, it's it's all going to be ground level. Um, okay. The house does have to come up a little bit from the workers' requirements, but it's a single level dwelling. So that double part that you, you know, the eyesore that was at the back has obviously been torn down now. Right. And it's all the lower level to the more to the existing uh, house structure that's there, the old green building that's at the back. Okay, great. That's what I assumed. But I just didn't know from looking at the floor plan. Okay. Oh, no, that's a great question. And then all those ugly sheds that were all rusted and tins and everything all <laughs> torn down and not going back up. So, okay, great. Thank you so much for clarifying. Yeah, <laughs> we need it a little bit larger because we want to store everything in the garage as opposed to having multiple structures in the back. Yeah, gotcha. All right, thank you very much for your question. Okay, does the committee have any uh, questions?
Anybody care to make a motion? Through you, Mr. Chair, uh, when I did visit the site, I saw what was there previous, and I always and I think this would be a good addition to the neighborhood. I would feel confident bringing a motion forward for A1923, 130 St. Bear Street for approval of a minor variance. Seconder. Mr. Chettle. Okay, all in favor? Okay, and that's approved. Okay, thank you. Um, so the second application for tonight, it's, uh, it's past 510. So Donna, if you would like to read the application. Application for minor variance A20-23701289, Ontario Inc. 5085 Walker Road. The purpose of the application is to seek relief from subsection 14.1.16 of zoning bylaw 85-18, which establishes that no parking other than a maximum of six visitor parking spaces shall be permitted in the front yard. As a result of the proposed construction of a 2,777.8 square meter, 29,900 square foot manufacturing building and the need to conserve a gravel area in the rear of the lot for storage of equipment and material, the applicant is proposing 13 parking spaces in the front yard. The existing shipping container structure located at the northwest corner of the property will be removed, demolished upon completion of the construction of the proposed building. The property is designated business park in the official plan and zoned industrial M1-2 in zoning by law 85-18. The following correspondence was received. Engineering, town engineering has no comments regarding the requested minor variances. Public works and engineering services continues to work with the owner and its consultants regarding site servicing and stormwater management as part of the site plan control process in relation to the construction of the new building and parking areas at this address. IRCA, no concerns with the application. County of Essex, the minimum setback for any proposed structures on the property must be 42 feet from the limit of County Road 11. Permits are necessary for any changes to existing structures and entrances or construction of new structures and entrances. Once the application passes committee of adjustment stages, further review and permits will be required. Also based on the site change, the county will request a traffic assessment from the traffic engineer. The county is also requesting a copy of the decision. The building department. Building department has no concerns to propose changes to the parking lot as long as the site plan and stormwater management requirements are met for the management of surface water. Fire services, no comment. And once again, uh, comments from Essex Power Lines advises that it's not within their service area, so they have no comments regarding this application. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Donna. Um, would you please uh, state your name for the record? Good evening. My, my name is Piero Aleo. I'm from Aleo Associates Consulting Engineering, and uh, I'm representing the applicant on this matter. And uh, do you have any further comments uh, in addition? I don't think, no. Okay. Uh, questions from the committee? Uh, through you, Mr. Chair, I guess my question would be go to the administration. Uh, this project is under site plan agreement. Yes, through Mr. Chair, it, it is subject to site plan control. Yeah. Uh, any further questions? Anybody like to make a motion? Uh, Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion that we accept application A2023. Uh, this is an item that I believe would would go well in the in the town and it'd be a welcome addition to increase manufacturing within the municipality. Uh, seconder. Okay. 
All in favor? Okay, that's carried. All right, thank, thank you. you. And uh, what do we have, 10 days? 20 days. 20 days. Thank you. Okay, um, no deferrals, uh, no unfinished business, no new business. Okay, move to adjourn. Tony, Doug. Okay, all in favor? Gary. Easy. <laughs>